Hey guys, this is Richard Price, Thai Tech Battery. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NOCO Genius 5 Series Charger. Uh, the Genius 5 is brand new to the NOCO line. It's been out for about two months now. And it is going to be the successor to the G3500 series. This is both the 6 and 12 volt battery charger, uh, 5 amp output. It charges lithium, AGM, gel, and flooded series batteries. Uh, a couple of quick features and benefits of the charger, it's fully automatic, microprocessor control. So it is a plug and play setup, it's something that you can leave hooked up to your battery indefinitely. It won't hurt the electronics of any vehicle it's attached to, and it won't cook the battery. Uh, the charger itself has a dedicated repair mode, uh, as well as a force mode. So if your battery is bricked up at zero volts, you can engage the force mode and it'll attempt to artificially raise the voltage and then bring it actually through the, a full charge cycle. Uh, so that's a, a new feature that we actually like on the Genius Series line. Uh, another feature is temperature compensation. Um, so no more cold AGM mode on these. Uh, now it's gonna auto detect what the actual ambient temperature is and adjust the charge rate accordingly. So if it's cold, it's gonna up the voltage. If it's hot, it's gonna lower a little bit so it doesn't cook the actual battery. So the game plan here is we're going to open up the box, see what's inside. And then we're actually gonna hook the charger up um, just to run it through basic diagnostics, explain what those are, and uh, show you what it looks like when it's attached to the battery and actually working. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box for the Genius 5 Series. All right, so as you can see, the charger itself is actually pretty small. Uh, let's pull it out here and take a look. Okay, so out of the box here, we have our owner's manual. We have a nice wall mount option with a Velcro strap on there. Uh, the battery clamps. The battery clamps have actually been redesigned throughout the generations of the NOCO Genius line. These are going to be more narrow uh, and have a little bit more teeth on them, solid copper. And they also have integrated eyelets. Um, so if you want to use the eyelets on these out of the box, you have to just uh, remove the screw on the back of the actual battery clamps. So it does not come with a separate set of eyelet terminals um, like the old style used to. You can buy that as an accessory separate from NOCO along with a whole host of other accessories. I think they've got about eight or nine of them for this particular charger. And then let's take a look at the charger itself. Let's get that out of here. All right, so as you can see, the charge is pretty small. Um, you may be two and a half pounds on this, and I'll actually throw up the actual cord lengths on here uh, in the video so you can get an idea of what they're sitting at. But the charger itself has a single button on here. Um, like I said before, it's fully automated, um, so it'll never overcharge anything. It's uh, pretty much a plug and play set up right out of the box. So your different modes are gonna be displayed right here. Uh, you have your battery diagnostics shown here, and we'll actually go into detail on what those mean and then your, your charge level is gonna be indicated here, along with your dedicated repair mode. Uh, so all the chargers have discon uh, quick disconnect on, this, on the end here. So uh, if you have uh, basically, you're, you know, traveling with the charge or anything like that, you put on the cap to prevent anything from getting in there. Uh, and then the actual AC cord, just a simple two prong setup. Um, so that it doesn't have the, th the three prong with the ground. So first we're gonna get into the actual battery diagnostics and then we're gonna hook the charger up to a battery so you can kind of see it in action there to get a feel for it. All right guys, so here we have the NOCO Genius 5 kind of blown up so we can see what's going on. There's two sets of lights. Uh, the first light is gonna be your charge indicators, four of them in total, each representing 25%. Uh, the last one, the solid green, is gonna be your fully charged and whenever that's solid green, the others will go dark. That means your battery is fully charged, ready to go. Uh, the battery diagnostics are going to be below that. Uh, so your first one there is the high voltage indicator. Uh, so whenever your battery has a runaway voltage or it's just registering as too high for the charge mode that it's currently in, that's going to be lit up. Uh, the second one uh, means that there is a possible battery short or the battery itself is just not holding a charge. So no matter how long the charger is you know, pumping voltage and amps into it, it's just not sustaining the actual charge level. It keeps dropping. So you'll see that light light up. And the last is going to be your reverse polarity. So basically, whenever you get that light, it means your positive and negative are switched. You just got to take the clamps off and reverse them. And obviously, your last light is your power indicator light. Okay, guys. Uh, so we've got the Genius 5 hooked up to a uh, DECA ETX 20L motorcycle battery. 
Uh, so basically we're just going to demonstrate what the charger is going to look like when it's going through its charging cycles. Um, so right now, actually let's zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, uh, so right now we're in standby mode, uh, which is what you're going to get right out of the box as soon as you hook it up. To cycle through all the modes, you're just going to hit the mode button here. Uh, so our first mode is going to be a 12 volt mode. Uh, this particular mode here is going to be used for flooded, enhanced flooded, and gel batteries. So if you have a gel battery, do not use the AGM setting. You're going to be using the standard 12 volt setting. Uh, our next setting here is going to be for AGM batteries, the 12 volt AGM mode. Uh, obviously, that's that's pretty much only going to be for the AGM series and advanced uh, AGM, the AGM Plus series, like North Star and Odyssey. And then the uh, next mode here is going to be a 12 volt lithium series. Kind of gives you a different light to let you know you're in the lithium. Now, to get into the 6 volt and the 12 volt modes, you're going to actually hold down the mode button for a three second period here, and then that will give you over into the 6 volt mode. And then you can cycle up into the 12 volt repair mode as well. Um, in terms of uh, one of the modes that we can't show you because our actual battery isn't uh, dead, but it's called the force mode. Uh, the force mode is basically where you hold down the mode button for five seconds. Uh, and that basically uh, enables the charger to put in a straight five amp hour charge into the battery for approximately five minutes. You use this on really dead batteries, uh, batteries below one volt that are pretty much flatlined. What this does artificially raises the voltage of the batteries in an attempt to get the charger to register them and bring them through the charging process. Uh, so that is uh, basically the demonstration of how the charger works. Now let's go into the regular 12 volt mode so you can see what our actual status bars look like. Okay. So the way that these work, you're going to get a, a blinking light. So obviously your four bars, each bar represents 25%. It's going to keep flashing progressively all the way up until the top. The top light is going to be green. As soon as it stops flashing, it'll turn a solid green and then all the other lights will disappear. That means that your battery is fully charged and ready to go. Now, this is a fully automatic battery charger. So once it is fully charged, you don't have to worry about it overcharging or actually hurting any of the electronics in the car. Uh, the charger will go into its maintenance mode automatically. So it'll charge the battery as that voltage drifts down over time to keep it in tip-top shape to prevent any sulfation from occurring.